Hi, this is Lyra Lynn, and you're watching and listening to 101.9 Kink in the Skype Live Studio. Lyra Lynn, that was fantastic. Thank you. Wow, I can tell you're such a phenomenal writer. Who are some of your influences? Oh, God. <laughs> no, you really are. Your songs uh, you know, are Paul so McCartney, cool. Ha, Joni Mitchell, all the regulars, I guess. I don't ever know how to answer questions mm -hmm. like that. There's so many, you know? Yeah. A lot of people are going to recognize you from True Detective. You were that moody singer-songwriter. How did that role come about? Um, my manager uh, was friends with T-Bone from working with him previously and had been sending my music to him and thinking that he might want to use it for something. And he wanted to use a song off of an EP that I released last year called Lying in the Sun, uh, the title track. So we met for lunch and, uh, you know, he was curious about other things that I was doing and said, do you want to try writing for the show that I'm working on? It's called True Detective. And I was like, oh, yeah. Well, had you watched the season prior? So you knew oh, what yeah, it was yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I thought it was just amazing. Yeah. yeah I thought it was great. Yeah, I was brilliant. I was really excited to, to do anything with it. Um, and at first, it, we were just going to try writing for the show. And then he said, why don't we record the songs that we're writing? And then he said, maybe you should be the girl playing the songs that we've recorded and written for the show. <laughs> so. Wow. So of those songs you just played, which of those is from True Detective? The third one. Yeah, it sounded like that. Did you guys all guess that too? Like, yeah, there it is. <laughs> it has that moody, dark feel to it. Yeah, so you co-wrote that with T-Bone Burnett? And Roseanne Cash. Wow, yeah. so cool. Yeah. Big changes in your life. How many True Detective fans came over and became Lyra fans? Lots? I mean, I guess all of them. <laughs> That's the right answer. Me, I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the right answer. I don't know what I know. <laughs> if you guys don't know, she has a really interesting past in that she studied anthropology at school, and we were just talking backstage, like, how does that weave your way into your songwriting? And I thought your answer was very good, just in terms of the totality of information and knowledge, how it helps songwriters. Yeah, well, it just it helps to open your mind to you know all different types of people. Not only culturally, but psychologically, socially. And I think that's really crucial for writing songs, being able to see things through other people's eyes, you know? So if you guys ever hear a song about the specifics of the human jaw, no. She is speaking from real experience and knowledge. <laughs> How do you know that? You did your reading. <laughs> yes, I did. I did my reading. So her new album is called The Avenue. She's going to be at Mississippi Studio tonight. And for those of you that are DIY, you know, you love to do everything on your own and shop in the Avenues area. I mean, uh, over in the North Portland area. This is the time to go see her. Go do your shopping on Alberta. Join her at Mississippi Studio tonight. You can tell she's going to go very far, Lyra. It's Aww. been so nice to spend time with you today. Thank you. Yeah. Lyra Lynn, Thanks everyone. For being Thanks. Here, everybody.